Mounting cattle is a useful tool to estimate age. It's a very simple procedure. Knowing the age of your cattle is important um, because it will help you identify markets for your cattle and organise the herd structure of your animals. For instance, if you're unsure whether your animals are going to be within a heifer spec or in a cow spec, by checking their teeth you can quickly tell. For instance, if you're marketing things as a heifer and it turns out that they're a cow and sold them as a two-tooth or a milk-tooth animal, and then they turn out to have three or four permanent teeth, that's going to affect your price and ultimately your bottom line. It can be particularly important for when you're buying in cattle, uh, especially when there's places that have been having tough years and their animals might be a bit stunted. You might think you're buying heifers, but uh, if you check their mouth and find out that they've got four permanent teeth, they might just be a really small cow. You don't need any expensive equipment to do it. All you really need to do is grab their mouth and look at their bottom teeth. There are plenty of guides available. It doesn't take much time to just look at their teeth and get the age and condition of their teeth at the same time. A really important consideration when you're selling your cattle is to try and match your live animal to market specifications. Most markets will have an age limit which is defined by dentition or the number of permanent incisors. Um, so mouthing your cattle really gives you the flexibility to sort of target your cattle to a, a premium price market and not miss out on those opportunities and premium prices for younger cattle. And also means you're not receiving any price penalties or discounts if you're missing those specs. So the process is quite simple. Generally, I would just walk in, put my body as close to the cow's head as possible, reach my hand around on top of their nose, put my hand in the side of their mouth, and then you can grab the bottom lip, peel it down, and you'll be able to see the amount of milk teeth, which are the juvenile teeth, and the permanent teeth, which are larger. Cattle don't have any top incisors, they just have a dental pad on the top. It makes it easier if you have head rope, or a lot of these new crushers have a head scoop, which elevates the jaw and prevents the cows from crashing their head about. So as teeth erupt, first set, the juvenile teeth are replaced by the permanent teeth. Before the age of a year and a half, cattle will generally have eight of their milk teeth, and then as they age, they will lose the sets of milk teeth as they're replaced by their permanent teeth. And as these juvenile teeth are pushed out, the milk teeth are pushed out, they will fall out and then you will see the permanent teeth come through and they will breach the surface of the gum. So that is no longer a milk tooth animal and that would then be defined as um, an animal with permanent teeth. So generally around 18 months, they will have the eight full milk teeth. Around the age of two, they will arise with two permanent teeth in the center. And then sort of every six months, they will progress to have their two permanent teeth, to six permanent teeth, and then to eight permanent teeth. A full mouth, eight teeth, is generally around four years old. There is some variance and there, are, there is uh, plenty of information available for you to look at if you are aging cattle by yourself. <coughs> the limitations with aging cattle by dentition, there is some breed differences. So generally with Boss Indicus cattle, they are later maturing than the Boss Taurus cattle. So for instance, your Brahmin will get its permanent teeth later than an Angus or a Murray Gray. There is also a difference with the quality of feed. So if cattle are grazing large stalky pastures or a lot of herbage that's a lot rougher on their teeth, they will generally lose their teeth at a faster rate. So for instance, places like the Pilbara and the Kimberley and a lot of these sort of more northern extensive areas where they're grazing a lot of stalky plants, that can have an effect on the wear and attrition of their teeth cows will start to lose their permanent teeth around the age of 10 to 12, but if they're grazing a lot of harsh pastures, they can lose their teeth at an earlier age. So it's important to, to be checking the mouths of your cattle just to ensure, because even if you think that they're only eight years old and they should have a full mouth, without checking, you don't really know. And so some of these cattle could have no teeth left. We started mounting our cattle for uh, two main reasons. One was meeting market specifications. So quite often with the live export market, there were um, specifications for dentition, milk to two, two to four. 
and so on. And secondly, we individually ID all our animals and part of that process is aging them and giving them a date of birth. Calves obviously are, are, are quite easy to do, but clean skin animals that come in unmarked, we use mouthing to set an age for those animals. Very simple to implement, particularly uh, with a crush head bar. You catch the animals. If, if you've got a chin bar, that helps uh, as well, particularly on older animals, bulls and the like with, with a lot of head strength. But a uh, very simple process, um, catch, pull the nose back to expose the teeth, and job's done. And especially when we're marking the clean skin animals, it's just part of the marking process. Meeting those market specifications, and, and typically there could be uh, a 20 to 40 cent penalty for dentition. That's the 20 to 40 cents a kilo penalty, so that adds up very fast if you're supplying uh, out of spec animals. There's some major penalties to be had there, so knowing that every animal that goes onto the truck to that market meets spec means that we can, we can avoid those penalties. It's enabled us to, to turn cattle off at the right time. It's also really been valuable in ensuring that our joined heifers are of the right age, that we're not joining heifers who, who are actually already three year and four years old. We want to be joining those heifers when they're, when they're in that 18 months to two year bracket so that we can get the maximum production life out of those animals. I'd recommend aging cattle uh, to all producers. I think there's a big value uh, proposition in, in knowing the age of your animal, both for marketing and for, for overall herd management. I think it's a really valuable, low cost, easy to implement tool.